Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another DeFi tutorial. Uh, this is going to be a really good one where I'll be showing you how to place a moving average from a higher time frame, say weekly or daily, and you know set up an equivalent moving average on lower time frames, which allows you to get you know more into the nitty gritty, be very precise with analyzing you know that area on the charts to see if the stock is respecting it. Uh, so this is going to be a really good one. Make sure to stick around until the end. I'll leave a like down below if you enjoy and leave any questions or comments down below as well. Uh, today, as I mentioned, I'll be showing you guys how to set up a moving average. We're gonna be using the 21 EMA on the daily. Um, and a as an example, I'll be showing you how to set up that moving average on lower time frames, so you can kind of get very precise at those moments where we're testing that moving average and see in the moment you know how price is building. Uh, so we'll be talking about how to set up this daily moving average on for instance a 15 minute chart and how to set up a quick kind of chart template so very quickly you can go ahead and load that and everything is set up right there for you um, this is the 21 ema uh, on the daily chart the equivalent on the 15 minute time frame and we can sw switch back to the daily time frame uh, just like that so you can switch in between the daily and 15 minute uh, super easily uh, and have that moving average already set up just in one click so let's go ahead and dive right in uh, so first going back to the daily chart uh, this moving average the 21 ema is very key for growth stocks um, it often acts as support during strong uptrends resistance during corrections you can see that very simply here with 20 uh, with nvidia uh, we've got support in this area here and here and there's often times where you want to be analyzing you know how price is building in these areas as we approach it because we don't want to just blindly buy because a stock is testing a moving average we want to see evidence that institutions are stepping in and supporting the stock at those levels uh, so obviously we want to you know operate on a lower time frame compared to the daily so as i mentioned it's helpful to view that same moving average area on a lower time frame chart um, and again, there's points where it would act as resistance here and here, and then at a potential turning point where we're looking to burst through that, this is another time where you'd want to analyze, uh, you know, in detail, very precisely, you know, how price is building in this area of that 21 EMA. So to do that, we just have to do a little bit of math. Um, we've got the 21 EMA that we're, we're going to be plotting on a 15 minute chart. Um, in total, when, when it comes to the trading minutes of a day, we've got 390 minutes. Uh, and since we want to use a 15 minute chart, we just have to go ahead and go over to our calculator. And let's go ahead and uh, do that right now. Uh, we want to do the total number of minutes in a day, which is 390 divided by the time frame that we want to place the moving average on. So that's 15 minutes. So 390 divided by 15. And that gives us 26. Um, then we, of course, want a 21 EMA from the daily chart. So we're going to multiply that 26 by that desired moving average times 21. And we'll go ahead and do 26 times 21. And that gives us 546. So that is the equivalent moving average that we need to plot on the 15 minute chart to give you the equivalent of the 21 EMA. So to set up this template, let's go ahead and change over to a 15 minute time frame, and go ahead and edit the EMA that we have by hovering over this and going to settings. And we'll go ahead and change the color so it's very clear. Let's make this purple. And let's change our inputs to instead of 21 being the equivalent for this time frame, which is 546. Press OK. And it's as easy as that. We've now got the 21 EMA on a 15 minute chart. Uh, you can see where it hit resistance here and here. Uh, we'll go back on just in just a second to the daily chart and you can see that as well. Um, but first, we kind of want to save this time frame, um, this chart template for this time frame. So you don't have to always go back and switch 21 to 546 every time we switch to a 15 minute chart. We want it to be as easy as one or two clicks. So let's go ahead up to this icon here, click Save Indicator Template, and let's call this 15 minute 21 EMA equivalent. And let's go ahead and select Remember the Interval. So every time we load this chart template, we're loading the proper interval as well, the 15 minute time frame. You can see the saved indicators that will be loaded with this chart template. 
in addition to changing the moving averages, you could also change the settings on volume. Um, you know, the RMV, you could change that depending on the time frame. You could add in other indicators uh, such as, you know, pivots, um, RSI, MACD, whatever you use on the 15 minute time frame and want to see every time you want to load up that time frame, that's what you should add to this template before saving that. But once you have that set up, what you want to do is just click save. And there you go. It's now saved. If we go back here, uh, you can see it right here and you can star these and they'll show up right here for quick access. So let's go ahead and unstar the one I had made previously. Let's star the one I just made here live with you. And now if we go back to the daily one, this is the daily one. And then if we want to load up the 15 minute chart, we don't go over here to 15 minutes because this one is already set up for this time frame. We just have to go here and give that a click. And there we go. We've now got the 21 EMA showing on that 15 minute time frame. So the daily 21 EMA showing on that 15 minute time frame. We can see during this correction the points where uh, you know, you might want to have zoomed in and analyzed to see if there would be signs of resistance. We've got a failed breakout here that resolves down. That would be a sign that this would be acting as resistance. This could be a potential short or just a reason to, you know, not be long anymore if you bought, you know, earlier in the day. Uh, here as well, we've had some failed breakouts ultimately resolve down. And then moving forward, this is where we kind of got the transition to a new uptrend where it acted as resistance a little bit here, but then we had a gap up, a hold of the moving average, and a re, you know resolution to the upside, which started you know that strong uptrend in Nvidia. So going back to the daily chart, we'll talk through the same areas on the chart that we just looked looked at at the 50 minute time frame. This is the first resistance point. Actually, this is the first resistance point we talked about. This is the second, and then you know this is the transition to a strong uptrend. And now we'll see if this holds, but it's super helpful to be able to just, you know, in one click, take a look at how that moving average, um, you know, is, is acting on the entry time frame, get a little bit more higher res resolution. Um, and again, we also covered how to save templates with a specific time frame so you can have whatever indicators you want. Um, if I talk through actually my, the ones I use, this is kind of my daily chart here. I've got a few moving averages in addition to the 21 EMA, which is the uh, bolded black line here. Um, I've got RMV, I've got all this. Um, and we also, if we go over to the 15 minute time frame, which I have labeled as F, I've got some pivots and additional moving averages. I've got both the 21 EMA as well as the 10 EMA um, here on the intraday time frame. So that's just an application of how I've added a few more indicators to my intraday time frames and my saved chart template. So hopefully this video was helpful to you guys. Uh, let us know if you have any questions down below in the comments section. And uh, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and I'll see you guys in future videos. Take care.